from the air we breathe to the water we drink, even our bodies. Everything around us is made of matter. All stars, planets, and moons in the universe, lahat sila ay matter. Amazing, right? In your previous module, you have learned the three classifications of matter. Ito ay ang solid, liquid, and gas. Now, you are going to learn how this particle nature of matter behaves. Did you know that matter can change from one state to another? Paano nangyari yon? Halina't samahan niyo ako na pag-aralan at matutunan ito. At the end of this video lesson, you will be able to explain physical changes in terms of the arrangement and motion of atoms and molecules. Before we proceed, let's have some unlocking of difficulties. These are the terms that you will encounter all throughout the video lesson. Let's start! The first word, it is the process of changing from one physical state to another. This is phase change. Next word, it changes only the appearance of a substance, not its chemical composition. Ito ay tinatawag na physical change. Next term, it can cause a substance to change into an entirely substance with a new chemical formula. Ang tawag naman dito ay chemical change. Ngayon, narito ang ilang mga topics na ating mapag-aaralan. Physical change and chemical change and the different phases of matter. Various elements have different properties. Because the combining atoms and the manner the atoms are bonded together, change. At mayroon tayong dalawang pagbabago na maaaring maganap sa matter. Ang una ay ang tinatawag na physical change. When a substance changes its appearance without changing its composition, ang tawag dito ay physical change. Narito ang ilang mga halimbawa ng physical change. Melting an ice cube, chopping wood, and shredding paper. Kung inyong mapapansin, ang kanilang mga pisikal na anyo ay nagbago, ngunit na natili pa rin ang kanilang chemical composition. Ang natunaw na yelo ay nagbago ang pisikal na anyo, pero ito ay tubig pa rin. Pangalawa naman ay ang tinatawag na chemical change. When a substance is changed into another substance, ang tawag naman dito ay chemical change. Narito ang ilang mga halimbawa ng chemical change. Cooking of rice Baking cookies and cakes Milk becoming curd Kung inyong mapapansin, may bagong uri ng bagay ang nabuo sa chemical change. Tandaan rin na sa chemical change, hindi na muling maibabalik pa sa dating anyo. Sa ating halimbawa, ang lutong kanin ay hindi na maibabalik pa sa pagiging bikas. Did you understand it, students? Very good! The process of changing from one physical condition to another is called phase change. Without changing its chemical composition, matter can change from one state to another. Here are the phases of matter. When a solid becomes a liquid, ang tawag dito ay melting. When a solid absorbs enough energy to overcome the force holding its particles together, it is said to be heated. Particles lose their attraction to one another, allowing them to move freely. The melting point of the solid is achieved at this point, and the solid melts. The temperature at which a solid changes into a liquid is known as melting point. Kapag dinagdagan pa ito ng heat, the liquid particles will move faster and farther apart. Sa puntong ito, nagkakaroon ng tinatawag na boiling point. The temperature at which vapor pressure rises to the point that bubbles form inside the liquid's body and evaporation occurs is known as the boiling point. Kung mapapansin nyo sa ating larawan. Sumunod naman ay ang pagbabago ng liquid to gas. Ang tawag naman dito ay evaporation. As liquid absorbs energy when heated, the closer particles of liquid become separated. Particles will have less attraction, allowing them to move freely. The procedure might also go in the reverse. 
ang gas ay maaaring maging liquid sa pamamagitan ng pagpapalamig at ang tawag naman sa prosesong ito ay condensation. Condensation is the change of a gas into a liquid. As a gas loses heat, the particles press in on each other and roll over forming a liquid. Further cooling to the liquid causes freezing or solidification. This process allows the particles to get closer and have a rigid position. The particles can no longer move freely. Instead, they will just vibrate. The temperature wherein a liquid solidifies is called freezing point. Physical state transitions from solid to liquid to gas and vice versa are common. Some substances, on the other hand, change from solid to gas without going through the liquid state. At ang tawag dito ay sublimation. Halimbawa nito ay ang dry ice. Kung makikita ninyo, ang ice ay solid at ito ay nag-change into gas. Sa kabaligtaran naman nito ay tinatawag na deposition. It is a reverse reaction in which a gas converts directly to a solid state without passing through the liquid state. Isang halimbawa ay kapag ang water vapor ay nagfrost. Now class, let us summarize our lesson today. Phase change is the process of changing from one physical state to another. Physical change changes only the appearance of a substance, not its chemical composition. Chemical change can cause a substance to change into an entirely substance with a new chemical formula. Melting is the process in which a solid changes into liquid. Freezing is the process in which a liquid changes into solid. Evaporation is the process by which a liquid changes into gas. Condensation is the process in which a gas is changed into liquid. Sublimation is the process in which a solid is changed into gas without passing through the liquid state. And deposition is a reverse reaction in which a gas is changed directly to solid without passing through the liquid state. That's it for our lesson today. See you on our next video.